Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So who knows Kaboo Festival? If you've never heard of it, Kaboo Festival is like an arts and music kind of festival, similar to like Coachella or Burning Man, but like on like a much smaller scale. It's still a very new festival, and this year was the first time that they were ever hosting it in the Cayman Islands, which is awesome. That's where I'm from. If y'all don't already know, it's where I live. So I did attend the two-day festival this past weekend, and spoiler alert, it was amazing. I had my doubts, but honestly, it was amazing. It was just pure fun, good vibes, and yeah. So I took my camera along with me, and I did vlog as much of the experience as I possibly could. So if you guys are interested in seeing what Kaboo Festival is all about in Cayman, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I do have to start by saying that when Kaboo first like released the lineup, I was not excited. As someone, like I'm a Caribbean girl at heart, so I love my dance hall, I love my reggae, I love my soca. That's the kind of music that I love to listen to. And when I saw the lineup, I saw a bit of that missing. I mean, there were, they did have some dancehall artists here and there, but I just felt like we needed more. We needed, we just needed more, you know? Like I said, when I first saw the lineup, I wasn't like crazy excited. I actually did never buy a ticket. My dad bought a ticket for me because he felt bad that the entire family was going and I wasn't. So yeah, at first, like I just had my doubts, you know, this was the first time it was being held in Cayman. And you know, sometimes at Island Life, things are just not, up to par, you kind of expect it to be, you know, at island level, you know, like not world class level. So I think me and a lot of other people as well just had some doubts, like just a little bit of doubts going into this whole kind of Kaboo festival thing. But honestly, as the time came around, it was just something new, something exciting, something to do, and also like again, the first time it's being held in the Cayman Islands, like it just I don't know, I started to get hyped regardless of the lineup. I just wanted to be there in the mix to experience it, like I just got really excited. I got into choosing my outfits. I did a little get ready with me on Instagram. Like it was pretty fun. So the festival started around midday slash like one o'clock, but I never ended up going until a bit later on. I felt like being out there midday would have been way too hot. And I also had like a specific set of people that I wanted to see. Okay, so we are on our way in. We just parked, so we're walking over to the entrance. Just wanted to show a little bit of my outfit deets. So the top is from Pretty Little Thing. Sunny's from The Finishing Touch. Y'all already know Sunny's. My necklace, my little fanny pack, all from The Finishing Touch. Um, then my two-tone shorts, these are from PacSun. Ooh, I'm walking up a hill. Say hi, Mom. Hi. Look, we're matching. <laughs> she copied my outfit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was ready long before you. <laughs> The first person we're gonna see is Maxi Priest, right? That's yes. That's who we're aiming for. So, yeah. The reason why I have to be on my phone is because they're not allowing professional cameras in here. Otherwise, I would have been able to give you guys a little bit better quality. But iPhone X, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Me and my mom look alike, or not? <laughs> <laughs> Friday, which is the first day of the festival that I really wanted to see was Maxi Priest. Maxi Priest was absolutely amazing.
I'm getting ready to walk into day two of Kaboom. Your girl got rid of the braids. I'd had enough, my scalp had enough. Um, but this is the fit for today. Just something simple, super simple. As usual, earrings and fanny pack by the finishing touch. This crop top I think I got from Fashion Nova. And then these shorts are from Zara. Okay, I'm like running. It's a video, say hi. 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 <laughs> Trying to catch Shaggy. Just finished up watching a cooking demonstration and I actually ate the steak y'all. So good. Waiting patiently for Sean Paul. I'm so psyched to see Wanda Sykes. Um, they're not allowing any photos in there at all, so I'll let y'all know how it goes. All right, guys, that is it for Kabo. We just wrapped up day two. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but it was so yeah. much fun. And I was pleasantly surprised by how it was. What did you think? I loved it. Yeah, it was I awesome. swear. Great job, Kabu came in. Yes, 100%. 10 out of 10 recommend. Photo bombing, photo bombing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's a video. Say hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It was just good vibes out here. 100%. Gonna go next year. How about you? Yes. We lit. 10 out of 10 recommend. We'll see you next year, guys. But yeah, guys, my overall thoughts, I honestly, like, given all the doubts that I had in the beginning, I am so, so impressed. I have so much pride that something like this was put on in my country, and it was amazing. It was just high quality, world class. Like, it was an amazing event. There was, like so many there's so so many different restaurants came out and set up little booths and stuff um, so there was like a very wide range of food there which I really enjoyed like from food truck kind of food all the way to like fine dining food you had a choice of everything pricing um, the drinks were a little bit pricey there was a margarita that was there for like $18 like I said I didn't drink and it was mainly for that reason because it was pricey but again when you're getting a quality event, like when the quality is there, I can't be too mad at it. Yes, it's expensive, but honestly, like I'm just one of those people. If the quality is there, I will pay a premium for it. If it was a shitty event, like if things were falling apart, if you know, it, things were late and this one canceled and blah, 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 like then I could understand like, okay, being upset, like this is shit, like, why am I paying so much money? But the quality was there, like the event quality, the stage quality, everything. It was just a quality event. And to me, I just felt like these are the prices and you can decide whether or not you want to drink. I really enjoyed that they also had some free filter water stations. So you could just come and bring an empty water bottle and just continue to fill up your water bottle as you please. There was never a line to go and fill up your water bottle, which is nice. There was always like majorly long lines at all the different bars that they had set up. So I was really appreciative of that, that I could at least get some water ASAP whenever I wanted. There was also another section that I didn't bother to check out, which was called Basque. That's where all of the DJs were playing, you know, it was always pumping, like techno and stuff, but you did have to pay extra to get into there. 
I just didn't really feel like paying extra to go in there. So I didn't check that out, but I probably will next year because it sounded like it was popping. So yeah guys, those are my thoughts on the Kaboo Festival. I 110% will be there next year. So if you guys are thinking about coming down to Cayman for that, I will see you there. I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this vlog kind of style. Like should I vlog more regularly or just like everyday shit that I do or what? Like let me know in the comments what you think. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.